Hey kids, today I've got another exciting animal story for you. Let's get reading. So kids, our exciting story for today is called The Adventures of Tsuru. The Adventures of Tsuru. Say it one more time with me kids. The Adventures of of Tsuru. Okay, let's start our story. In the continent called Africa, there is a little special animal all Africans love called a rabbit. Say it with me kids, rabbit. There is one such rabbit who is very clever, funny, and loves going to different jungles all over Africa. The name of this rabbit is Tsuro. Say it with me, kids. Tsuro. Tsuro. Yes, that's right, kids. Now, one fine day, in the jungle of Zimbabwe, Tsuro found a very nice field full of maize, wheat, nuts, and many delicious crops. Many, many delicious crops, kids. Tsuro ran to invite his friends to come and have a party and eat. They all gathered in the field and started a big party. They ate, drank, and danced together. They had fun, so much fun, kids. They made so much fun that Babu, the baboon, came to see. Babu liked what he saw and asked Tsuro if he could come to the party and if he could bring his family too. That's right, kids. Babu also wanted to have fun. Tsuro, the naughty rabbit, did not want to share the food with Babu and his family. Hmm. So Tsuro said to his family, Don't worry. I have a plan. You see, Tsuro was trying to be very clever. Tsuro then said to Babu, If you want to come to our party, you must wash your hands. He said, We only eat, drink, and party with those with clean hands. Now Babu just looked at him. Babu and his family were happy when they heard this. They rushed to the river to wash their hands. While they were gone, Tsuro quickly said to his family, Quick, let us burn the grass and bush between our field and the river. So they burned all the grass and the bush. Now Babu and his family washed their hands quickly at the river and started walking back to the field. When they reached the party, they asked Tsuro to let them eat, drink and dance too. Tsuro said, I told you to wash your hands. We only eat with those with clean hands. Now Babu and his family were confused. But Tsuro, Babu replied, we did wash our hands. We are coming from the river where we just washed our hands. Look! Babu then lifted his hands to show Tsuro. Tsuro looked at Babu's hands and shook his head. Your hands are very dirty, Tsuro replied. Babu and his family looked at their hands and saw that indeed, they were very dirty. 
Now, Babu and this family are baboons, and baboons are animals who walk with both their hands and feet. Zuro knew this, and that is why he sent Babu and his family to wet their hands with water so that when they walked on the black ash, they would get even dirtier than before. Babu's family was not happy. They were very, very sad. They saw that their, their food was beginning to be finished because it was being eaten away by the rabbits. However, Tsuro and his family showed Babu and his family their hands, which were clean. Hmm, that's not very nice, isn't it, kids? This was because rabbits do not walk on their hands and legs. They hop on their long legs, so their hands do not get dirty. Babu's family had no choice but to go back to the river to wash their hands again, kids. They went to wash their hands again. So Babu's family washed and came back again, but they got their hands dirty because they walked through the ash. Suro refused for them to join the party because their hands were still dirty. Oh, that's very sad. Again, the baboons made their way to the river and washed their hands. They went back and forth five times. On the fifth time, they saw that Suro and his family had finished all the food. Babu's family cried and went home sad, tired, dirty, and hungry. Aww. Tsuro was happy and his family rejoiced because they thought that they had done a very good thing by not sharing their food with the baboons, tricking them, making them work, and showing them how clever they were. Hmm, kids, what do you think? Was that really good? Now, many, many days passed and Tsuro forgot all about the baboons. Then one day, Babu saw Tsuro and said, My family and I want to invite you to a feast. Tsuro was happy with this invitation. He said, Yes, my family and I will come to the party. Hmm, let's see kids. However, when Tsuro went to tell his family, they asked him if it was not a trick by the baboons to get back to the rabbits for what they did at the party. Do not worry, my family, Tsuro boasted. I already thought of that. The baboons are not very clever. They probably want to do to us what we did to them. Therefore, we, as clever rabbits, will outsmart them. We will wash our hands before going to the party and hop on our very long legs, just in case they burn the grass like we did. So on the day of the party, the rabbits washed their hands and went to the baboons. Hmm, let's see what will happen, kids. However, hmm, when they reached the party, hmm, when they reached the party, they saw that the party was being held up in a tree. The baboons were having their party up in a tree. The rabbits tried to climb, but everyone knows that rabbits cannot climb trees. Wow! What are the rabbits going to do, kids? Hmm, let's see. <laughs> Hello, rabbit family. Babu called out from the tree trunk. Come and join us. The food is delicious. Babu said while chewing a juicy carrot. 
Tsuro tried his best to hop, but he could not climb the tree. His whole family tried to climb but failed. All the while, the food was slowly finishing. Some of Rabbit's family began to cry. Please, Mr. Babu, throw us some food. <laughs> we are tired of trying to climb. Babu replied, I'm sorry, Rabbit family, but our party can only be done up in the tree. You have to climb. When the small rabbits began to cry, all the others started getting angry at Tsuro. Tsuro, it's all your fault, they cried. You made the baboons do this to us because you did not want to share our food with them at our party. Wah, wah, wah. They were crying. The naughty Tsuro tried to run away, kids. But the other rabbits caught him and told him to apologize to the baboons. Finally, Tsuro went to apologize to Babu. I'm very sorry for being stingy and playing tricks on you. That was very selfish and bad. Will you forgive me and my family? Babu and his family laughed. Oh, Tsuro, he said. I knew that you were being naughty. Ha 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 ha. I just wanted to show you that this is not funny and nice when it is done to you. My family and I accept your apology. Everyone makes mistakes. I hope you have learned your lesson. My family will bring the food down and we all can eat. And so, the baboons came down from the tree and brought the food. The rabbits were happy and all animals feasted together. Well, that's it kids. I hope you enjoyed this story. Let's meet again for another exciting adventure with Suro and Babu. Bye kids!